are going to have uh, Professor Fukumoto first, but then um, the next speaker is uh, Dr. Uh, the Professor Ajetsi, as planned. So, uh, Professor Fukumoto is uh, switched from uh, tomorrow, Friday, to this session, and uh, he's going to give us uh, uh, his talk here. Yes. Okay. So, uh, the title of my talk is uh, Gyroscopic Analogy of uh, Coriolis Effect for stabilizing uh, rotating stratified flows confined in a spheroid. And uh, we are considering about uh, how our Levy Taylor instability uh, can be stabilized by rotation, and uh, possible uh, try to get some insight into the mechan mechanism. The effect of uh, stabilization by rotation uh, can be uh, clearly understood uh, by the uh, dispersion of uh, waves in a rotating stratified fluid. Uh, this is a, a continuous uh, stratification with a uh, uh, brand by frequency is constant. Then uh, you get uh, following uh, dispersion relations. Uh, this is a Coriolis effect called inertial waves. Uh, this is a gravity effect, uh, this internal gravity waves. Uh, then uh, without a Coriolis effect, uh, if uh, n squared is negative, it means uh, uh, unstable uh, stratification. Uh, waves can be, uh, is unstable, but uh, by imposing rotations, system rotations, uh, it's certain uh, you can uh, stabilize uh, the gravity waves. Uh, then uh, for uh, short waves in uh, 2D uh, horizontal uh, directions, uh, gravity waves uh, compete uh, is winds to the rotation effect. Uh, but uh, for long waves uh, in the horizontal directions, uh, stabilization uh, by rotation. Right? Uh, can be possible. And we will see uh, this effect in uh, two ways. Uh, one is a toy model of a continuous stratification of a linear flow confined in a, a spheroid. As in the second part, uh, we uh, look into the Levy Taylor instability. Uh, I, I was uh, much uh, influenced by uh, this book by the late professor. Uh, uh he and uh, the translator by Boris Heesins uh, describes uh, how uh, Poincaré's idea uh, is uh, extended uh, to the uh, present day. Uh, the, using a business approximations, uh, you can uh, construct uh, some uh, exact solution of the uh, Ibn Navier Stokes equations. And consider a uh, spheroid, uh, of the general spheroid. Uh, then uh, we assume uh, incompressibilities, and uh, density is uh, divided into the uniform one and uh, just a small perturbations. And the, by taking the uh, gradient of uh, this continuity equation, uh, you get a following a form of the continuity equation for the gradient of the densities. And uh, momentum equation, or Euler equation, uh, in the Bussnet's approximation, uh, can take this form by taking the curve. And uh, this uh, looks like uh, uh, bar uh, torque, and it's called Barokling torque. Then, uh, you can construct a uh, steady solution of uh, this uh, business uh, equations. Uh, th this uh, satisfies also the boundary conditions at the uh, spherical uh, walls. Then uh, for general flows, uh, you may uh, pause uh, following a solution form and uh, substitute uh, this into the uh, Navier-Stokes equations, uh, because uh, we assume linear flows, uh, viscosity doesn't work. Uh, then uh, you obtain 
the following equations. M uh, is uh, constructed uh, by multiplying the, uh, this uh, uh, small omegas. A capital omega is actually the uh, rotations, and, uh, and also uh, actually the vorticities. Capital omega is vorticities. And small omega is uh, cooked from this. And uh, uh, this is the equation uh, governing uh, the heavy, uh, heavy top uh, in the frame uh, fixed to the body. Where omega is angular velocity, m is angular momentum, and this L0 is in the language is the body, uh, just uh, uh, the axis uh, from the uh, fixed point to the gravity centers. And now, uh, viewed from the uh, fixed frame fixed to the bodies, uh, direction of gravity is uh, rotating. So, uh, this uh, direction of gravity uh, is uh, represented by sigmas. And in the language of uh, fluids, uh, sigma is uh, come fr coming from the gradient of the densities. And uh, this uh, top axis uh, is associated with the uh, angle uh, from the uh, gravity, uh, gravity direction uh, of the uh, principal axis. axis. Then uh, this uh, torque comes from a uh, balconic effect. And this comes from the Coriolis effect. For, for example, uh, for simplicity, if you consider an uh, upright uh, spheroid, and then also uh, consider the uh, symmetric top, and when upright case, uh, this uh, top axis is uh, simply uh, directed uh, in the G axis, uh, built from the uh, body frames. Then uh, there are two steady solutions. Uh, one is uh, this, this component, uh, third component is one. Uh, this corresponds to the uh, unstable stratifications. And this is uh, actually sleeping top. And uh, the other uh, steady solution is that this simply is uh, gravity is uh, just below, uh, a center of gravity uh, is uh, below the fixed point. Then, uh, as, uh, as you may well know, uh, stability of a uh, sleeping top uh, is uh, obtained uh, in these following criteria uh, by rotating uh, faster than this uh, critical uh, speed. Uh, sleeping top uh, is stabilized, uh, but uh, if uh, friction uh, slower the rotation and the uh, uh, rotating speed is uh, smaller than these critical values, then uh, tops uh, just uh, uh, stop uh, their uh, sleep, uh, rota rotating motion. Then, uh, motivated by these analogies, uh, you can uh, consider uh, the stability of the flow uh, confined in the uh, tilted uh, spheroid. And in this case, uh, the top axis, it means the uh, axis uh, connecting from the fixed point to the center of gravity is uh, misaligned uh, with the uh, symmetric axis. And uh, this top axis built from the uh, body coordinate uh, looks like this. And this is actually the when, when tilted, uh, integrability is lost, and uh, stability uh, is uh, influenced by this uh, misalignment uh, between symmetry axis and top axis. And you can easily find a uh, uh, steady state. Uh, this is uh, just a one parameter uh, family, and uh, stability of uh, this state uh, can uh, show how 
alignment effect phi non-zero uh, will uh, change the, the stability of the well-known uh, slipping top of uh, Lagrangian case. First, uh, we consider a uh, prorate case. Prorate case uh, is uh, elongated, uh, like a rugby ball. Then uh, its feature is a uh, first inertia tensor, a component of inertia tensor is larger than a third one. And uh, stability shows uh, when uh, there's no uh, tilt, no misalignment, uh, this is well known the uh, critical point, and if uh, you rotate uh, stop faster than this value, it is stable. When tilted, uh, it, the stability region is uh, larger than uh, upright case, and uh, more tilted, uh, a stability region uh, is uh, monotonically uh, greater, and uh, when uh, just the tilting angle uh, is uh, half pi, uh, entire region uh, becomes stable. And this is a relation uh, between the uh, real part of frequency and the imaginary part. And uh, uh, this is a critical point and uh, yes, this is a case of uh, 60 degree uh, of uh, tilting angles. And when uh, rotating speed, speed are slower than uh, this value, where the two eigenvalues uh, degenerate, then instability start. Again, uh, another bifurcation occurs uh, for very small uh, values. For well, oblate spheroid, uh, there are more uh, tricky uh, behaviors. Actually, uh, when a denominator becomes zero, a uh, steady solution uh, is lost. And, and uh, first, uh, if uh, this is a gross rate, uh, if a rotating speed is a uh, slower and slower, and if uh, it's, it becomes slower than these critical values, uh, instability starts, and the gross rate uh, uh, diverges. And, but uh, at this point, uh, steady solution uh, is lost. But again, uh, there is another uh, bifurcation, and uh, gross rate uh, behave like this, and uh, uh, bifurcation also occurs around here. There is a uh, uh, two uh, regions, and gain uh, by gaining insight into the stabilizing mechanism uh, by the analogy uh, with top or, or gyroscopic effect, uh, you can uh, consider uh, the two phase flows, uh, retailer instabilities, uh, just uh, sim simple uh, upright. Uh, spheroid. And uh, just uh, there is an idea uh, rotation doesn't affect uh, instability because this is unrelated with energies. Uh, but actually, uh, this gyroscopic effect has a pronounced influence for the stabilizations. Uh, this is an uh, interesting experiment uh, made by uh, Skiers of uh, Nottingham. And uh, rotation speed uh, becomes, this is zero, and becomes uh, faster. Then uh, by a very ingenious uh, method, uh, they could uh, realize uh, ready Taylor environment. Then uh, for faster uh, rotation case, instability uh, is delayed. And motivated by this uh, 
we consider uh, the mechanism for the stabilizations. And there are several pioneering works uh, for uh, rotational stabilizations. Uh, first, uh, it was made by uh, Carnival and uh, Professor Orlandi. And they uh, focus on the effect of uh, colloidal force on uh, vortex rings. Then uh, there are recent works uh, by Tower and uh, just uh, you see the Baldwin's uh, experiment, and also they made a uh, uh, beautiful uh, theoretical works. Maybe I, I skipped uh, one slide. Then uh, we, uh, the experiment is a cylindrical apparatus, and uh, we consider uh, uh, the two two-layer fluid is confined in the lower half of the spheroid. Uh, this corresponds to considering the effect of uh, topography. And uh, heavy fluid is uh, lying on top of light fluid. And we consider uh, Euler equations in a rotating frame and then uh, there's equilibrium uh, shape, and uh, this uh, interface shape is uh, given by uh, this form. And uh, to consider this form is uh, very important. And we uh, consider uh, stabilities. Then uh, equation for the small perturbation of the interface uh, is given by zeta. And uh, you may consider uh, uh, following uh, representations uh, for the velocity using the potential. And then our pressure is automatically uh, obtained by this. And substituting this uh, uh, into the uh, incompressible conditions, uh, you get a well-known uh, equation governing uh, potentials. Uh, this type of uh, wave equation has uh, inertial waves and uh, inertial waves and internal gravity waves. The boundary condition uh, is just uh, no uh, flow through the wall, and uh, also no singularity on the central axis. And as the interface, uh, pressure is continuous and the kinematic boundary condition uh, should be uh, satisfied. And uh, we uh, want to know the uh, growth rate, and then uh, you may assume an uh, of uh, linear stability. Then you may assume the normal mode. Uh, governing equation becomes uh, this form. Uh, then uh, you may solve uh, this equation with the boundary conditions in the following form. Yes, uh, this is uh, just uh, for uh, pressure continuity across the interface takes uh, this form, and the kinetic boundary condition uh, takes this form by uh, substituting uh, perturbation uh, into the boundary conditions. And we use a uh, variational uh, method. Uh, it's uh, initiated by uh, Miles. Uh, then uh, uh, scarce and uh, the collaborator uses this, and we follow uh, this beautiful uh, techniques. Then uh, by multiplying the governing equation, uh, this uh, you obtain uh, variation function functionals. Actually, you can check uh, by taking variation with respect to uh, potential, uh, you obtain the potential equation. Also, uh, exact solution satisfies. Uh, phi itself equals zero. Then uh, by substituting a uh, solution, partly uh, satisfying uh, this uh, boundary condition on the walls, uh, but uh, without uh, satisfying the boundary conditions uh, in the interface, uh, you may obtain, uh, by reducing uh, this integral, uh, you may obtain a following form. 
Here, uh, axiomatic mode is uh, simple, and uh, you may assume uh, following form uh, by taking m equals zero, uh, and uh, formally uh, this will constitute a, a complete uh, set of uh, functions. Then, uh, yes. The parameter a uh, is, uh, is the radius around around here is, is come come from here, and you can uh, substitute uh, this and take uh, various variation uh, with respect to amp uh, amplitude uh, c, and you obtain the equations. But uh, for uh, simplicities, uh, you may uh, first uh, consider the very slow a system rotation case. Then uh, you can get a uh, dispersion relation uh, for uh, yes, this uh, slow yes, rotation case. Here uh, A uh, is, yes, is the same as AT, uh, atom number. Uh, delta is aspect ratio of the uh, spheroid. And, uh, this is a growth rate uh, with horizontal axis of uh, rotational speed normalized uh, in this. And uh, red and this uh, blue is the result of a uh, half spheroid case. And the red one uh, is uh, aspect this is uh, 4.1. Uh, this is a uh, oblate spheroid, and uh, horizontal axis is a longer, four times longer than the uh, just a symmetric axis. And blue one uh, is uh, this one, and then uh, more uh, oblate. If oblateness is increases, uh, you have uh, larger uh, stable regions. And this uh, dotted, and this dashed, uh, is a cylindrical case uh, derived by uh, scales and uh, their collaborators uh, with the uh, same aspect ratios. Yes, delta. Delta is, uh, I think, I should write down delta. Delta is now one. Oh, no, yes, yes oh, sorry. Delta, uh, delta, uh, delta is aspect ratio. This, this is uh, 4.1 and uh, 2 1. And uh, com, com, this and this is uh, same aspect ratio. And uh, this and this is uh, aspect ratio is uh, 2 and 1. Uh, compared, compared with uh, spheroid and cylinders, uh, you, you can see uh, spheroid is uh, more. Uh, Stability region has a wider uh, than a, a cylindrical case. For uh, prorate uh, spheroid, uh, it means uh, this uh, symmetry axis is longer than uh, horizontal axis. Uh, then uh, spheroidal uh, case and the cylindrical case is not much different. Red one is 1.4, uh, blue one is 1.1. Uh, Uh, this is the in interpretations for uh, elongated uh, or prorate and more elongated uh, means inertia moment in the horizontal uh, direction uh, is uh, greater than uh, inertia moment in the actual uh, directions. Then uh, critical speed of the for stability of sleeping top is increased. Uh, therefore, uh, more elongated is uh, more un unstable. And uh, in opposite, oppositely, if uh, flattened, this is uh, a more obliteness uh, is, is increased. It means that if uh, C is increased, uh, top is uh, more stable. And you can uh, interpret uh, uh, this uh, from the stability of the uh, this uh, top. 
then finally, uh, you can uh, calculate uh, the critical uh, rate, uh, rotation rate uh, for spheroid uh, to establish a stability of the, uh, this two-layer fluid. Then uh, critical speed means uh, this omega growth rate, imaginary part omega equals zero, uh, then uh, you may assume uh, following, then uh, by uh, taking uh, this uh, in, in, power, in power series of this small parameter and uh, substitute uh, uh, this uh, approximation, approximated uh, eigenfunctions uh, into the, this and taking the variations, uh, you obtain a critical rotation speed. Then uh, the result is the uh, following. Uh, if uh, you assume the same uh, parameter uh, used by experiment uh, of uh, scales, then uh, you obtain a critical uh, rotation speed for the spheroid and uh, this aspect ratio I, I, yes. I should write down aspect ratio somewhere. Yes. Yes, this is parameter, and uh, I think almost one. 0 0.7 something, but I, I, sh I should write down. Yes. Then uh, with uh, same aspect ratios, you obtain the following uh, critical rotation speed. And the scarce case, uh, the critical rotation speed uh, for making uh, established stability is the uh, following. Then uh, spheroidal uh, case uh, can uh, establish stabilization uh, with a lower uh, rotation speed. Yes, uh, this is uh, just a uh, same graph as uh, we showed uh, previously. Yes. Summaries. Uh, we consider how uh, Coriolis effect uh, can uh, stabilize or can sustain heavy fluid uh, on top of a light fluid. Uh, in the first uh, part, uh, we consider uh, uniform uh, informally uh, certified uh, flow or linearly certified flow uh, with uh, velocity uh, proportion linearly in coordinates. Uh, then uh, we looked at uh, stability of the flow in, in tilted uh, spheroid. And this is the uh, same as the stability of the heavy symmetric top uh, with uh, top axis and the symmetric axis misaligned. Mis mis then uh, in the second part, uh, we consider uh, levitator instability of a uh, rotating flow confined in an upright uh, half uh, spheroid compared with a uh, finite cylindrical case. Uh, spheroidal uh, container uh, have a more uh, stable environment. Yes, thank you very much.